Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Satanimals. Satanimals is for two to four players, takes about a half an hour to play, and is for ages 13 and up. In the game Satanimals, you're basically going to be making this satanic zoo in which you're going to try and gather visitors to come and visit, as well as sacrificing them into the sacrificial pit to basically stop your opponent's zoos and their animals. You're going to be collecting sets of animals from a grid and trying to place them in front of you by getting all the different kinds of animals, scoring as many points as you possibly can by getting multiples of the same type. Remember there's also zookeepers that can protect your animals from being uh, discarded by other players' moves, but in general you're just going to be trying to gather the most animals possible until either the deck runs out or a player simply gathered all of their animals in which place every single player will finish their turn, and you're going to add up the points. Whoever has the most visitors and zookeepers in hand along with animals down on their tableau is the winner. Let's go ahead and show you the game down below along with everything included in the game. So here we have the game Satanimals and everything included and as you can see you get a large deck of cards along with the Eternal Flame, your completed zoo token, and your rule book as well as a box for the game. In the game it's going to come with five different animals. You got Sloth, you got Lucifer, Karma, Envy, Ouija, uh, a zoo keeper, and of course visitors that you can use to either gain points at the end of the game or of course to sacrifice to destroy your opponent's points. But this is pretty much what you're getting in the game. A big stack of all the different types of cards and of course the box. All right, let's come up and I'll explain how to play a turn and how setup works and then we'll go into showing you a turn of the game. So in Satanimals, it's pretty simple. You're gonna take the cards you start with depending on the number of players. In a two player game, it's like six of each animal and 24 visitors and four of the uh, zookeepers here. And you're going to basically be making a three by three grid, just outlaying them all down. On your turn, you're gonna get either one if you're the first player or three cards if you're second, third or fourth. And then you're going to go ahead and start by drawing cards in a horizontal or vertical angle. And you're gonna draw three cards. If you ever can't draw th three cards, that's the game is going to end immediately. When you draw cards, they can all be the same type, in which case you're going to get this Eternal Flame token, which will give you three victory points at the end of the game. And if you're um, not getting that exact, those exact three types, so maybe you didn't get three zookeepers or three visitors, you're going to get different types of cards into your hand. You have a lot of cards in your hand. After you've drawn your three vertically or horizontally, you're then going to choose two actions. One action is to simply play down uh, one type of animal into your tableau. Maybe you have four Lucifers, you can play them all down into a stack. That would be one action. Another would be to play visitor or visitors. You could play one or three. One is going to allow you to ask for a go fish from your opponent's hand. So maybe you're looking for something like a sloth here. You can say, I'm going to just code a visitor do you have a sloth in your hand, Grant? To which point he would then say yes and he'll give it to you or no. Um, the other action for visitors is you can discard three of them and remove the top card from the stack of an opponent's uh, animal pile, in which case it can basically make them lose points if they have a larger stack. Uh, and then your final thing you can choose to do is you can play a zookeeper on top of any of your animal stacks. Zookeepers are good to prevent players from being able to destroy your animals because it'll cost them three zookeepers, or three visitors, to remove a zookeeper and so basically gives you a little protective shield however zookeepers if you have the most of them at the end of the game are going to be worth points in your hand as well as visitors are worth one point a piece as well so how you want to kind of balance that out is up to you players will continue playing until that you can no longer draw three cards in which the game immediately ends or if somebody has played all five types of animals out then everybody will have a finishing round and the game will end and you'll tally points let's go down below i'll show you around and then i'll explain what i think about it so we're now back to Satanimals, and as you can see, I went ahead and set it up for two players. In this game, the first player is going to get one card, and the second player is going to get three. And if there was a th third and a fourth player, you give them each three as well. Uh, the rest of the cards you won't be using in the deck, it's going to be based on the number of players. You can go ahead and remove those extra cards from the game. You won't be needing them for this specific two-player game. You're going to have the first to finish their zoo token, as well as the eternal flame token. And this is going to be passed around whenever somebody collects a set of three of the exact same cards from here and this one's going to simply be given to the person who finishes their zoo first. The box over here is not going to be needed as well. I went ahead and put up there the 3x3 three three grid as you can see, and the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to reveal all of the cards on the grid so everybody can see what they look like. And as you can see, there's a lot of visitors, zookeepers, and different types of animals. Okay, so now the question is for this player, which cards do, does he want? He has one card in his hand, which is a zookeeper. It's pretty useful, and if he has the most zookeepers at the end of the game, he'll get points which is pretty good as well. He can choose to draw in six different ways. He can draw this one, this one, this one, 
this one, this one, or this one. And if they had all three matching, so if there's a Zuyu Keeper here, he'd get this Eternal Flame and he'd hold on to it. But that's not the case. Uh, so what does he want to do? Well, let's go ahead and gather these Zoo Keepers. These are pretty useful and they can benefit him throughout the game. So he'll take the Zoo Keepers and he'll take the Visitor. And then, of course, he's going to have the option of doing two actions. One of the actions is simply going to be to discard a Visitor and request something from somebody else's hand, like a Go Fish action. So he could say, hey, hey, do you have Envy in your hand? And this player would then look at his hand and say, oh, I do have Envy, and he'd have to give it to him. Just one, though, for one. He could have also discarded three of these to remove a, uh, an animal from one of the stacks in the tableau of, of another player, but of course, there's nothing out yet. And then his uh, other thing is he could go ahead and put a Zookeeper on a stack, which he doesn't have the ability to do yet, so that would be the end of this player's turn. Now this player is up, and he's got a bunch of visitors in hand. He wants these... Let's see if he wants the Envies and Ouija. I think that's what he's going to take. He also knows that this player has a Envy, so he'll get rid of this card to steal that Envy right back from him because he's going to want that. And then, if he wants to, because he knows there's only six uh, Envies in the game, he can go ahead and choose for his last action to play all of his Envies, which is going to be a stack of three. Now, in general, in scoring, the first one's worth two, the second one's worth three, and the fourth one is the third one is worth four points. That's that's a good amount of points right there. Uh, and then we go back to this player here. Okay, well, what does he want? Well, Ouija is probably a good good choice, so he'll take these, and then these are going to get flipped over, and then he'll have the option to go ahead and play Visitors, or uh, play a Zookeeper, or play his, he play his Ouija. He probably is going to save all that, though, and not do anything. Uh, the next player's up, and he'll take all three of these Visitors. That could be three points at the end of the game, along with, because he chose all three Visitors, he gets this Eternal Flame, and these will get flipped over, and the game continues like so. Here's three. You could go ahead and remove uh, on top of one of uh, the enemy's tableau cards here, but he doesn't have anything out yet. If this player did, he could remove that, though. But uh, he can go ahead and do the Go Fish actions if he wants. He knows he has a Ouija in his hand. These are all hidden cards in general, but in a two-player game, you have an easy, you have pretty pretty knowledgeable of what everybody has in their hand. Um, however, it's just going to go back and forth like that, and the game's going to end basically when you could no longer draw three cards of a type. These decks are going to run out, and at a certain point you won't be able to draw three. So something like that. You would not be able to draw three in a row. That would instantly end the game. And the other way is if all the cards... Um, if somebody had played all the different types of animals... Uh, there's one more missing somewhere. This one here. And that would be a completed zoo right there, in which case everybody would get one more turn, and then you add points up. Scoring's pretty simple. At the end of the game, you're going to score three points for having the All Flame or the, the Eternal Flame. You get it three points if you have completed your zoo first. You'll get two points um, for the first card in your tableau of each animal, and then it's three, four, five, six, so on and so forth, scoring more and more points as you have more and more cards in each of the stacks, as well as you're going to score one point for each visitor in your hand and you're going to score three points if you have the most zoo keepers in your hand and that's the basic idea for satanimals all right let's come up and i'll tell you what i think about it all right so review time but first there's one caveat you can't sacrifice any visitors until you have at least one animal in your tableau so one stack of animal or animals then you're able to use the sacrifice action which is getting rid of one visitor or three visitors depending on the action you want to take but otherwise i think i pretty much explained the entire game so what do i think about this game well first of all let's talk about i guess component quality network. The components are a deck of cards. You get two little meeples that indicate your uh, eternal flame and your Finnish zoo. And then of course you get a box. This is a prototype of course, so I'm assuming everything will be a little bit better. But overall, it's fine for a card game. It's what you'd expect as far as a card game goes. And I, I like the little addition of the different little meeples for the uh, for the zoo. Uh, the artwork is cool as well. It's, it's, it's kind of funny. It's cheesy, cute humor that has this like evil, but not so evil, satanic zoo so it has that fun light-hearted feel i mean is this extraordinary artwork no but it's good i like it for what the game is and i definitely think that the uh that the artwork suits the type of uh comedic feel the game has to it i mean it's a little dark but really it's you know it's not super dark overall 
Um, but I can see people being up or down, or it just depends on, I guess, your taste. Uh, now let's talk about the mechanics of the game. So, first of all, before we started playing this game, I started reading the rules and understand how it fu functioned. I'm like, oh, I kind of like the way you can draw three cards in any of the different directions. And if you gather certain types of cards, you can get the Eternal Flame and that could pass around, as well as what cards you want to keep in your hand, what cards you want to play down your tableau. Having the biggest stack is obviously important. Do you want to sacrifice visitors that are going to be worth points in your hand at the end of the game to remove? points from a specific player so the more players in the game obviously the more county it gets as to who you need to pull from and what stack you need to pull from and uh, how serious you want to get with the strategy because players are going to put their stacks down and you have to remember the, that stack of cards uh, they're not going to need to tell you so you have to kind of keep track of all these things in a two-player game it's a very straightforward competitive back and forth game you can remember what they have in their hand but uh, with more players comes a little bit more craziness uh i enjoyed it quite a lot actually when we first played the game it came here the first day we played it multiple times and then that Wednesday we play it live so if you want to see a live playthrough of the game you can go ahead and check it out on Filtered Gamer Facebook page videos and it'll show us playing Satanimals it was a chosen game from the tabletop takeovers group they wanted to try out the game so we're like yeah we'll, we'll play it with you guys and they enjoyed it in fact one of them said specifically that they're going to back this game so I'm going to hold them to backing this game because uh, he really really enjoyed himself with the game and for good reason it's fun it's mechanically smooth it feels great as you're playing the game pulling the cards from the different uh, the different angles, trying to make sure you either try and end the game earlier if you're winning or trying to sa save off from ending the game quickly if you want to try and give as many points as possible, determining how you want to hold your hand, how many like, cards you really want to utilize when you're discarding vi visitors, because visitors are important to have in your park, as well as it can be beneficial to sacrifice them to the old god, <laughs> uh, Lucifer, or not even Lucifer, I guess, the dark one. Lucifer is actually an animal in here somewhere. But uh, it's fun. I really, really enjoyed this game. And I don't know if I guess I was surprised, I uh, if I was surprised necessarily, because when I read the rules, I wasn't. But uh, it actually got a really good... A lot of people really enjoyed this as we were playing it. People were like, wow, this is, we want to play this again. I want to back this game. So uh, Satanimals is a really fun little enjoyable game. If it sounds like something that would be interested in you, I should definitely suggest you check it out on our Kickstarter description below. As far as negatives go, I guess it could be a little bit of a take that feel. It has that go fish action where you're stealing cards from another player. Um, it's also really quick, so it's not super in-depth as far as how long. It, it, it is in-depth, just not super strategic. And it gets a little more zany and crazy the, the bigger the amount of players are. Uh, overall, I think players who like card games, strategic little card games, are going to enjoy Satanimal. Something you should definitely check out. In the link in the description below, currently on Kickstarter, Satanimals! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help. We do greatly appreciate it. As well, take a look at Satanimals. Currently on Kickstarter. Satanic Petting Zoo, where you sacrifice your visitors. <laughs> that theme is so funny. Also, go ahead and check out unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And we're giving away a lot right now. We're giving away the game... Uh, vindication we're giving away this flying game that's really popular right now I'll have it all posted up here so you can see it um, as well as taking a look at everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek they got a lot more giveaways even more than my own site do check them out sorry my raspy voice I'm a little bit sickly as you could probably tell but I did it my best to try and give that full zone vivre hopefully that that pays off for you guys. Uh, hopefully the next one you see will be a little less raspberry, but anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, I look forward to building a satanic petting zoo with you next time. <laughs>